really. I mean, honestly, Billy, are you proud? Did she think that, yep, dad's proud. Dad's proud of me now. Uh, every time and she does this, that's, uh, that's what I think of, is Billy Ray Cyrus and, and his reaction to this. It's got to be, I mean, that's got to be horrifying for a dad to watch know. this with his 20-year-old daughter. He was there the whole time. He yeah, watched it. He encouraged it. I, mean, I don't know I don't that he know. encouraged this, but maybe he did. I mean, he's in, you know, he's a guy who's in the, he's been in this business for a long time. I mean, in the interview, uh, he's talking about being Is this the interview with me? Yeah. What, from, six years ago? Yeah. And you basically, he brought up, I'd love her to become Ron Howard. And you said, well, that's the odds are not uh, particularly good on that one. I mean, there's so many more and you list them off the Lindsay Lowens and the Britney Spears and everything else. Are you worried about that? Uh, and he says, well, you know, I just try to, you know, be close to my daughter and be her be- he actually says be her best friend which That's is a problem. standard uh, bad thing you don't want to be with your mm. with your kid necessarily like it's that bad advice uh but uh he, you know he goes on to address it and uh i i don't i think he you know he's in the middle of of trying to deal with um a daughter who he obviously wants to raise correctly as everyone does but also a daughter he realizes is a mega star and he's excited about the success and I, I don't know how I don't know how to how to walk that line. I mean, that's got to be very difficult. And I don't, I don't think you don't. <laughs> sometimes people fall off the tightrope now, don't they? Um, almost, almost every time. <laughs> almost every time. <laughs> that's mm-hmm. why there's specialists. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, and that's yeah. why Ron Ron Howard is is the exception. I mean, look, I, I, I you know I I know I'm in a very different um, position than. Than most, I I don't know how to raise my kids in the atmosphere that they exist in. I don't. I don't. They are they le- lead privileged lives, um, and uh, I am I'm trying desperately. I'm flailing and trying desperately to make sure that they understand uh, that they live a privileged life. But I think I'm failing in that and it is extraordinarily difficult to do but the one thing you don't do is hand your kids off to disney when walt was alive i don't think it would have been too bad a thing you know it didn't seem like uh, annette funicello went off the deep end <laughs> when walt was al- it. can i tell you something when walt was alive walt made sure that he was there yeah, right and he was shepherding the reason why um uh ron howard didn't go bad is because he had andy griffith there mm-hmm. he said andy griffith was like a dad to him he, he, the whole time he was counseling him don't let this go to your head don't 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 pay any attention to that don't listen to any of that so he had that he still had that guidance there. And the same thing, if you read anything about Walt Disney, all of the kids that worked for Walt Disney, he was exactly the same. He didn't build them into little monsters. Now we're building everybody into little monsters. And listen, listen to this exchange with him. You say to Billy Ray Cyrus, are you telling me that you're her buddy? You're, you're not the one who says you're going to go load the dishwasher every night? Uh, then he responds, her mama does. And you say, you don't? And he says, I don't. You say like it, then he wow. says, you know, her mama does a real good job, and I yield. I just want to be the person that Miley can talk to, uh, somebody that she can talk to me. Oh, so, there's trouble. I mean, that's well, you, did I, what did I follow that with? Mm-hmm. Your daughter's you say, doomed. No, and he tries to go on to something else. You're like, uh, you know, and you cut him off for like the 19th consecutive time. Uh, you're just and you say, hang on, hang on. I'm sorry. I, I this is driving me crazy. Uh, and you say, uh, what was that? What was, was that? Where did that come from? Um, was your dad, your best friend? Uh, <laughs> did he tell you an awful lot? Uh, and, uh, he was not a dis- disciplinarian. I mean, I don't mean to be crass here. Are you a cowardly guy? <laughs> wow. Wow. And he says, oh no, 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 that. not at all. Not at all. <laughs> I, I think it, cause I mean, that is a, an indicator, especially, mm. I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm a very new parent, but it seems to be. That, uh, you know, the, your daughter in particular would need a strong father figure yeah. to guide them down very tough, uh, you know, a, t- a tough GPS system there for a young daughter coming out of a, a star system. You'd need a really strong father figure Instead, there. she got and a bud. She got a good buddy that we yeah, could talk to and hang out occasionally. That might not be what you need right there. Maybe yeah. we can smoke a doobie later. Yeah. So... <laughs> Maybe the bud was happy with the performance last night. Yeah. 
Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, Saw buddy, that performance last night. Oh. Nice job. That was awesome. I'm not going to say it was yo, bad, yo, but you yo, can yo. talk to me about it. <laughs> it was awesome. Yeah, I'm not going to say it was bad. <laughs> Let's talk about <laughs> it. We can talk about Let's it and talk hang about out. It. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes buddies just have to say, hey, I support you no matter what you choose. And that sex you had with the pink bear on stage. Was. <laughs> I support that. I support it. Whatever you choose, because <laughs> you are my buddy. 